This is XSplit's GameCaster. It's a new program from XSplit that enables you to start streaming games uh, with just the press of a few buttons. It has a number of options. Um, you know, it allows you to sign in with your account, your XSplit account. It uh, has a variety of settings. Um, allows you to set up your camera, like I have mine here. Uh, you can set up a number of hotkeys to, you know, to start the stream, to you know, push the talk, things like that. Um, we can also go through your various recordings. Uh, unlike XSplit's other program, this is meant to be super simple. Uh, you could start it from inside a game, um, but you also don't have quite as much control as you have over the, the full XSplit program. Um, but it, it, it has everything you pretty much need if you're just going to be doing some light streaming. So let's go ahead and give it a try in Spelunky here. It works a lot like Steam. Uh, you know, with the Steam overlay, you hit Shift Tab, and you can bring that up. With XSplit's Game Stream, you just hit Control Tab, and it brings up this small little menu here at the top. And then you can either start streaming as long as you have your account set up. Um, you can stream to Twitch, YouTube, um, and I think UStream. Um, you can also record locally. Then it has a number of control options here. You can, um, you know, control your microphone. You can control the volume of your microphone. You can mute the sound of the game, control the sound of the game. Uh, you can show your web camera. Um, you can get to the Twitch chat channel so you can see what's going on. You can also quickly change the uh, the name of your of your broadcast so that people know what game you're playing so you don't have to go to the dashboard. Um, you can also share to your you know your, your social media profiles, Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus that you're streaming. And finally, you have a, a Telecaster, whatever that's called, Telestrator, to uh, circle stuff. I can just I can point out that this is dangerous. Here, let's see here. Spikes are bad. So that's pretty cool. I enjoy that. And you just hit Escape, and then you're back in the game, wasting bombs. Okay, so um, that's the basics. You know, you can just hit stream. It, it, it just starts. You know, it's going to connect me here. And it's going to start doing it on its own. I don't have to go to the website. I don't have to check anything. I don't have to open any additional programs. It's all happening in the background. Um, and there it goes. It just went live. I'm going to stop that before someone comes in and starts seeing me. Okay. Um, I think it's a, a pretty neat product. I have used XSplit for a while. It's a good... It's a, their original programs very good. This is simpler, smaller, um, and it has pretty much all the options I would need, and I think mo that most people will need. You know, if you if you need to have control over every aspect of your streaming, you're still probably going to want something that has more granular options. Um, this doesn't quite have everything that you're going to want, but for most people, it's going to have everything that you need. Okay, well that does it for me. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, that's XSplit. Uh, I'll have the uh, full article on this up today.